If you're retired and still have debt, I don't want you to get discouraged because there's always a way. I have five tips to help you tackle that debt and become debt free. So there's two types of debt that we're talking about is lower interest, better debt, or the things like student loans, mortgages, and car loans. Then there is the higher interest debt, not so good debt that we really want to tackle as quickly as possible. And those things are like credit card balances and payday loans and other not so good things. So point number one, we are going to tackle the high interest debt first, and here's why. A lot of us are thinking that if we're just going to tackle something small, then we're going to get it paid quicker. But I want you to think about the fact that you really should be tackling your high interest debt first. This way you can pay down the interest quickly, pay down the principal quickly, and just get rid of it for once and for good. What we're going to do is start out with the highest balances, the highest interest rates first, and we're going to slowly work on them step by step until there's nothing left. So the goal is to focus on the high interest debt first and then make minimal payments on the other balances. Point number two is let's focus on increasing your income. And some of you may be okay with that and some of you may not, but I want you to think positively because this is something you can definitely uh, control and focus on the things that you may enjoy doing. Here are some good examples for you. Just try doing something part-time. We're talking about 10 to 20 hours a week so that way you still have time to enjoy your hobbies and other things because you worked so hard for your retirement and you really want to enjoy some time off and we totally understand that. So if you're enjoying some DIYing and you like to tinker with things, then think about getting a job with a home improvement store like Home Depot or Lowe's. If you love a home decor and some other things that you're always checking out on Pinterest and Instagram, well, we have a Marshalls and Home Goods and Home Sense and some other stores but you can enjoy doing those things as well. If you live near attractions and you're interested in some high energy and things always happening and cultural events, then think about work for some of the attraction places or like entertainment parks. You can maybe consider doing something with Disney World or Busch Gardens, or if you're near Six Flags Great Adventure Parks or Sesame Place. So think about those things because you can do them part-time there's, they're always looking for workers to help them out. And a lot of that could also be seasonal, which could be a good help for you. So the extra income that we're talking about is to help you not just to pay your bills, but really to really focus and double down on paying down your debt. So a big part of the planning would be to do the extra hours of the part-time job and to focus on using that money to pay down your debt. We're, we have a goal and that's what we're focusing on. Point number three is downsize and potentially relocate. So here's some food for thought for you here. You can tap into the equity, which a lot of boomers have right now, to pay off the mortgage and sell your current home and maybe buy something else free and clear. There may be some money left over for you to actually pay down your debt. And at the same time, there are a lot of benefits to downsizing. You can decrease your expenses like your utilities and other costs, including property taxes, because you may have now a smaller place to live in. So that's point number one. The next one is there could be really some great uh, safety and healthcare benefits as well. You may be downsizing to a home that is only one story, which is something to consider around for baby boomers because of the anticipated increased healthcare cost down the road. And potentially a good thing to downsizing is you may want to move closer to your friends and family and have that extra time with interaction with the social circle that's important to you. If you want to tap into your equity and you absolutely want to stay in your home, there are options as well. You can potentially do a cash out refinance if you don't have a mortgage perhaps put on a line of credit on your home, or having a reverse mortgage can also be a good option for you as long as you're dealing with someone who is reputable and knows what they're doing for this type of mortgage. I do have a recommendation for you and I'm going to put that in the description under this video. Another good option is I just did a video on having boommates. If you have extra rooms and you don't want to downsize and you're, you know your kids already have places of their own, why don't you rent the extra rooms and have roommates or boommates? Boommates are someone who is close to your age who is also looking for a place to stay. There are numerous benefits to doing that. These people can help you with paying rent, so there is some income to help you and offset your own expenses for your home. 
Another good point is they can help you around the house, bring in groceries or go shopping or help you with some house repairs or doing some maintenance or even help you out with doing the lawn care as well as the snow care in the winter time. So lots of good things. And another bonus is you will have additional social interaction with these people because they all live close by. Point number five has to do with potentially waiting to take social security. And there is different school for thought about whether you wait or maybe you take it during the normal retirement age. So a couple of things for you to consider here, that if you wait, with every year that you wait, your social security benefit is going to increase by 8% up until the age of 70. And if you decide that you want to take it earlier because you may need that extra income, the earlier you take it, the less of the benefit you're going to have, but you're going to be able to take it and use it over the longer period of time. And the bonus tip is as retirees, you also have additional perks and, and discounts and things that you can use. You just have to look for them, apply for them, or ask for them. Always take advantage and always ask for a senior discount. Uh, there are also uh, military discounts that are available to veterans. Uh, if you go out to eat, ask for the discount for seniors. There are certain days when you're shopping where the discounts may be offered. So always kind of be on the lookout for that as well. The National Council of Aging also has a great website set up that has a summary of all different kinds of benefits that are available out there for you. I'm going to link that website for you in the description box so you can check out and see what are some of these great incentives and things that are available near where you live. So what strategies have you used to help yourself get out of debt or already be debt free or maybe you have a plan right now? Please share your thoughts and ideas with others under this video so that way your progress and your great ideas can help others as well.